Hello out there. Um, I was having a coffee with my brother yesterday and um, I was mentioning to him about the um, Auckland Council's um, geological information services map or website. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, he was completely unfamiliar with it. It's a website that I used in my previous video in episode one. And uh, it has, um, it's mainly used for council information, land, um, boundaries, um, uh, you know, rates, all this sort of thing. It's, and I obviously used by people who are looking for um, properties or trying to, I would imagine real estate agents would use it one king of a lot and surveyors, etc., etc. Anyway, what I love about it is I use it for its historical value, and that's what I'm going to show you today and how it assists me. So here I am in Google. I'm just going to go with uh, a guess, type in guess, and off we go. And up we come here with uh, Auckland Council Guest Viewer, which we'll enter into, and um, up it comes. And the first thing it does is asks us to agree to the terms. I've never read the terms, but, you know, let's go with it. Uh, and this is what we have. Uh, there are a number of things that you can do straight away if you wished. Um, obviously, it only covers the greater Auckland area, and some of the information that I like to use just actually covers quite a small part of the area, more like in here. Anyway, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, come up here and we're going to allow aerial photos. So uh, all the Google information now is put down on the map. Um, I'm going to grab the hand here and move it where the Auckland Isthmus part is right in the middle of the map. And I'm going to zoom in a bit and have a little look. So in we go and here we are. So um, you can see it's quite a cluttered map. Uh, for my purposes, uh, I like to get rid of a number of layers. So here is a whole bunch of layers here. Now, what you can do here, you can see how it's got themes. So if you're looking for underground or, or doing a bunch of stuff, uh, you can come in here and grab a theme. So you might want regional parks. Um, so that's the theme for regional parks. Doesn't look a great deal different, does it? Um, so we'll come down for another theme. We'll basically clear all the themes. But here, over here are the themes that you can use. Some are quite handy. Well, if you're interested in properties, but that's not, a, not, that's not the purpose of my exercise. Okay, so let's clear the themes. What we're going to look at is uh, view layers. So these are the layers that I'm presently looking at. So um, I've got address layer here and base map layer. So I'm going to get rid of these because they just clutter up what I'm looking at. And I can minimize um, this box by doing that there and that one. So now I can zoom in and get a, an idea just like you do on Google. And what I'm going to do today is a little bit of an exercise. I'm going to find the house that I, I grew up in, uh, which was in Balmoral or just out of Balmoral, and here's Eden Park, here's Potter's Park, so the um, the area I'm interested in is somewhere around here, so we're just going to zoom in. If I wished, I could come up here uh, and put in the address of where I was brought up, but um, I, I'm not going to do that, but you could do that if you're looking for some old property. So here I am. This is where I was brought up, right in here. And we're going to zoom in there and have a little look. Uh, there we go. That's the... Uh, do, 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 do. Is that where I lived? That doesn't quite look right. Hail Sign Avenue. Uh, and... Uh, okay, so if you get lost... What you can come to... <laughs> oh, I was brought up there. <laughs> Can't figure my way out from the sky. You can put in the address. So here we go. Okay, so here's Wembley Road. Here's Wembley Road. This is the house that I was brought up in. This little fella here. So now that I know my bearings, I, I can zoom in on this little fella here. So in I go. Okay, there it is. Wembley Road, right here. 
in my day there was a there was a there was a tool shed out the back here and it had a long section and we went up to a top ridge up the back here where we used to play all sorts of things. Brother and I set up a um, set up a golf a little putting course around here once. Anyway, that's by and by. What we'll do now is the interesting part for those people interested in history. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and here we've got this wonderful thing called historical aerial photography. Oh. Anyway, we're going here and we bring up another box over here. Okay, and you can see on here, hopefully it's got 1940, 1959, 96, 2008, 2000, oh, sorry, 2006, 2008. And the map we're looking at now is the 2010 map. We're over here. So if we just look at that there and we move this across to 1959, it's a rather crappy photo, isn't it? But that's the section there. And out the back we can see the old tool shed that I remember very well, where Dad kept all his tools out, which is now gone. And the clothesline used to be here, and we used to have a driveway that came down here. But in 1940, bingo, nothing. The house has not been built. The whole street is pretty much unbuilt. Okay, so... That's what I use the um, um, the uh, this map for uh, for looking at uh, at uh, areas in days gone by, and if you can remember that something is um, uh, a 1940 some building was there, you can use this map to go and have a look at it. Like, for instance, Partington's windmill. Partington's windmill was around until um, 1950, in fact April 1950, the year that I was born, and the month that I was born. And Partington's windmill existed just in Cranny Happy Road, and it existed just at the back of, um, here we are, we've got Simon Street here, uh, and Simon Street Cemetery, Simon Street going down here, Cranny Happy Road over here, and I know that Partington's windmill was just in the back there. So what I'm going to do is put it in the middle there and zoom in on it. Down we go. No, not good enough here. Put it in the middle. Go down. Uh, uh, that's That should be getting closer now. Partington's windmill is still, should still be there. And it should be around here somewhere. So let's just go in a bit more and see if we can actually identify it. Okay, it's looking a bit hard to see there, but my feeling is, well, it's not easy to identify here, is it? It was back off the street, uh, in a, oh, that's it there. There it is there. That's it there. You can see its shadow. Oh, crikey. And you can see here the actual, um, the, the, the wind vanes on it. And that part there is the actual windmill, and there's the road that used to service it going down here. Oh my god, that is rather cool. Okay, so there's Partington's windmill from the aerial point of view. Okay, so these are the sort of things you can do. Uh, absolutely marvellous. Um, the other thing you can do is use contours. Now, it used to be previously that if I... The order in which these layers occur was normally the way in which they would appear. So by putting the contour map up the top here, it meant that the contours of the area, well, the 2010 contours, would appear. But they don't do it anymore. So what you have to do if you want to get an idea of the contours is come up to here. This one has transparencies. And if I reduce the transparency of the 1940 map the contours show through okay so you can see there that the contours are um, as they are but unfortunately it makes the map in the background go lighter too so I'm not happy with that so I might send an email into the into the um, into the council saying what's happened man it used to be that uh, if I moved these um, uh, layers around then the one at the top would show through over the top of the others but it's all of a sudden it's changed. Anyway, 
that's the story. So, um, again, this came about because I was having coffee with my brother, and he knew nothing about this website. And when I told him about it, um, and that you could go back to 1940, he got really excited. So hopefully you'll get excited as well, and you'll go and just explore Auckland. But before I leave this, I'll just pull out, let's pull out a bit, because the only areas that have the 1940 map on them is pretty much the central Auckland area, as you can see here. Okay, um, the other areas we can't see. If I move this over here, this is the 1959 survey, so some of this area is not surveyed. You get the 1996, which covers most of the urban area. 2006, it's covering a lot more. 2008, uh, virtually covering everything now, but 2010, uh, the bigger Auckland area is, is it formed by then? I'm not sure. Anyway, you get the whole shoot match now. So that's it. So, you know, get out there, have a go. If you discover anything really interesting about this, put it in the um, video at the end or put it in the comments underneath and let's all share and learn together and explore Auckland and, and bring it to, to everybody else. So, again, it's the Kiwi Codger signing out.